I do love olives. They've got like a real olive oil taste to them. They're lovely, aren't they? Superb, yeah. Really good. And where do you get them from? Um, I get them from Little Deli in, um, in Leeds. Finding the right sort of olives for a dessert involved a bit of research. Anthony sought out the advice of his old friend, chef Gip Damon, at an Italian restaurant in Headingley near Leeds. Olives are cured in brine, giving them a salty flavour, so they've traditionally been used in everything from pizzas to salads. So which olives could possibly be suitable for a dessert? From the Puglia region, in the heel of Italy, we've got these Bella di Cerignola, the beautiful, large table olives. A lot more salt, a lot firmer. Mm. To me, they taste like buttered new potatoes. Nice. Do you know what I mean? Buttered Jersey Royals. They're almost as big as Jersey Royals. Not so. far, aren't they? <laughs> but would Anthony want a new potato taste in his dessert? Hmm, maybe not. These are from the Campania, Naples region, uh, Gaeta. Certainly the smaller ones have got a more pronounced taste than the bigger ones. Yeah. And you can see these are on the turn, so they've gone from green. Yeah. They're not quite jet black. They're quite whiny. Mm. Mm. Much more pronounced taste. Mm. Yep. Far, far too strong, I think. Yeah. OK, so we've got these, uh, the Tondo di Spagna. Anything between two months and two years, they're kept in brine um, to flavour them. The reason why I think they're going to work so well is that creaminess. It's just like a solid olive oil. I think they're going to be ideal. So he decided to test the Tondo di Spagna olives. He'd brought along some key elements from his dessert. Cream cheese, white chocolate and calamansi lime foam. And you know something, if you want a really modern take on British food, I remember enjoying lemon meringue pies when I was young. This tastes like a, a grown-up version. This is modern British cooking, and I think you're going to do well with that one, matey. Perfect. 